Hello everybody and welcome back yet again to Steam and Steel Let's Play. Last time we got to the iron mines, which was a pretty cool thing to do. This week, however, I plan to head to the smelters. We actually have some cash that we got from the iron mine run, so that's good. But first, of course, we're probably going to go do a, um... Yeah, I think first we're actually going to do some rum, a rum run real quick. Yeah. Alright. Let's open the reverser, shovel some colon, open the throttle, and take off with our 222. We still haven't changed this locomotive, have we? We really need a new locomotive. I'm not about to buy one of those tender engines or locomotives, because that's more expensive. That's expensive. Alright. Oh, sorry, I kind of was a bit tired. I haven't done a Steam with Steel video in like a week. Well, I mean, because sometimes I will generally do a, um, well, of course I haven't done one in a week. What do I tell him? So I say, I haven't done one in a week. Alright. Maybe we should have reloaded, f refueled on coal. Nah. We'll just do about four shovels more. If we have enough steam, I think we'll make it. Alright, blow the whistle. Always good to blow the blows of whistle. Locomotive is now running fast. Yep. I'd say that this um line is going pretty well. I think I, I know I think the next plan I am thinking the next plan will be um I think so I think the next plan we should do is um possibly get to the one of the coal mines because I know the coal mine's gonna be pretty uh necessary. Also probably redo this curve track so it's a bit smoother. You know, in fact, I might just do it now. I really don't like how this looks right now. It's, I'm, I know I can redo this. Let's see. So we'll build mode on. We'll have the rain mode on. All right. That's good. Then we can turn that on. Bring the track to about there. Track objects buffer. Boom. That's that. Does that look good? Uh, yeah, it's, yep, that looks great. Alright, perfect. Sure, a bit of a weird curve, but, nah, whatever. Maybe one day I'll redo this so it's a bit straighter. That'd be nice. I don't want to do it now, of course, but, yeah. Open the throttle, and let's go pick up some rum, as they say. Well, of course, there is no rum. If there's no rum, then that's gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to go back. Oh no, there's rum. We're gonna need cordwood, a lot of cordwood. Alright, I think that's a good amount. Let's head out. I think we'll do a bit more deliveries and try to earn up some cash before we get on to these smelters. You know, I'm waiting. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, just shovel some coal in there. I'm gonna go check to see what the best direction to the smelters would be. So we have two options. We could either go from this direction, which is more of a flat section, or we could go from the hill section and have some giant thing. Uh. Yeah, I think maybe going from the uh, bottom might be a bit better, a bit of an idea. So I think we'll just go from the quarry, build the switch about here, and then have it head to the smelters. Okay, let's check to see how our progress is doing. Yeah, pretty well. 
We'll probably head into the yard first, pick up some coal because we're desperately low on coal. And yeah, lights still don't work. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I know why, but yeah, we haven't seen those in a while. I think in the future, if I get a new locomotive, I think I'll definitely start building an actual roundhouse area. I might also do a poll before then to see if you guys want me to continue doing the series on this um on this world because I know some of you guys do want me to check out the new Badlands map and I have checked it out before but it's definitely very hard like I'll say this for certain like I checked like some of my friends have also played like if you remember Train Skull from the uh, Tragic Failway, which he actually named it something else, but I completely forgot. Hey, he, yeah, he apparently is uh, requesting that we, um, that that his friends join him and uh, give him cash for the railway because apparently he's desperately running out of money. And uh, from my experience, uh, yeah, you definitely run out of a lot of cash in that place. It's very exp. It's definitely in the um. Definitely not for the um, newbies. Anyway, we'll unload all that. Unfortunately, there's no way to speed unload that I know of, unless, of course, I can just spam this. Nope, there is no way. Of course, I don't get what the distillery thing is for. That still makes no sense, but whatever. Perfect. Oh, well, I probably should have, I probably should have loaded up on coal during that time. All right, let's see if I can load up with coal now. Alright, thank goodness I can, but I'm just gonna pull forward just in case. So yeah, we'll wait until that re reloads and then we'll um, head out, head down to the, um, to grab cordwood. Probably should also pick up some new wagons, honestly. I know the uh, creator is heading to RDC this for a few days, so we won't probably see any updates since then, which is a bit annoying, but eh, whatever, it's RDC. Hopefully we'll see some cool stuff come out of it. Let's see, are we fully loaded? Nearly. We are now fully loaded, let's head out, let's go. Show a little bit of colon and uh, slowly but surely open the throttle and head out. Always want to have a roaring fire as we take off. Despite what the despite what the viewer despite what the, com the comments say, I, I I still oh logo breaks on that's no good. I still kind of uh, don't do three or four shovels because I really do not see a difference between steam pressure unless of course that may be the case on the. Uh, 060, maybe it's different on the uh, 240, I'm not sure. I'd have to see. I'll find out. I'll probably do my own research later if I ever feel like I need to. So let's continue. Stop by the forest first, pick up some cordwood, and then head back. And yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. Alright, let's put on the brakes. Put on the brakes. Take off the brakes somewhat. Put on the brakes. Take off the brakes. I'm not very good at Epstein. I'm not... <laughs> I, I do, the thing is that I'm just so used to having an engine with horrible brakes that when I have an engine with good brakes, I, I'm just not used to running it that much. Or I'm, like, I'm more used to having to stop in advance before we hit the station so I can line everything up. But the 222 has superior brakes to the 060. Despite the fact that the 060 is more powerful. So, yeah. But whatever, that's just how it goes. 
probably flip around. We definitely need to flip around soon. Maybe one day I'll add like a proper connection. I don't know. Nah. Uh, yeah, maybe. It'd be, maybe it'd be interesting if we could get more custom switches in the future. Custom switches in the future. I'd definitely be interested in trying to do a um. Try to do more of a uh, connection where we have like a switch there, a cross, an X double cross there, and then you have another switch there. Just have a very odd looking switch yard layout. I think it could be cool. Also, a Y switch there would also be pretty useful. I don't know. Maybe I could redesign this pretty. Redesign this a lot to do to set it up a bit to be a bit more intuitive, as they say. All right. Sorry if that pop sorry if anything popped up. I don't think anything did, but just in case, sorry in advance. Let's put us into reverse and let's head down to the grain. Or not grain, the distillery. Just keep forgetting it sometimes, honestly. Phew. Overall, I'd say this series is going pretty well. I was like, hoping, I was kind of hoping that it would be better, but unfortunately, um, yeah, unfortunately there was no, well, not unfortunately, but like, yeah, unfortunately we haven't been able to do much about it since apparently I don't know why, I I don't know why, just I don't know why that first episode became so popular so fast, but yeah. I'm confused a bit, but nah, that's how the algorithm works. But at least these videos have been consistent. Alright, let's start unloading. Are we loading? Yep, we're unloading. Now we're unloading. Let's see how run production is going. Maybe we'll try to. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think I'll do like one more of these deliveries, then deliver what rum we have there. And then, yeah, probably head, then probably head out. Not head out, I meant like, work on the, um, line to the, uh, smelters. That's what I meant. Whew. know what to do. At least with the switch section, I don't see a way that I could be able to connect it all. Let's put the reverser on. Because if I could definitely do that connection, then if I could definitely do a switch like that, it would make life ten times easier for me and just running the slide in general. But it I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, 
Oh well. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. No, 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 no. Let's load up real quickly on coal while I go flip that switch. There we go. Let's head out. Hmm, I can't think of anything. At least when it comes to what the proper plan should be for the entire line. Hopefully, but I, hope, I think we'll. I think when we'll try to get to the um. I definitely have to check to see if there's iron to, you know, be shipped out because if there's none, then that's gonna be a bit hard. But I do think that connecting the. Uh, yeah, I do believe that connecting the. Uh. uh <laughs> I keep forgetting everything. Uh, this is what happens when you make YouTube videos and look at Twitter at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no! I just revealed what I actually do during these stream videos, not streams. Why? I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, speaking of streams, I really should look into if I can support. If OBS can even support my stream. Anyway, let's open up the shovel because there's not enough coal on. At least you have a lot of coal in the firebox. I don't know if it's just me, but I genuinely am starting to get a bit bored of the game. I don't know how, but like... I don't know, it just... I remember that when I first saw the game in like, eight, June, before I left to go on my one month vacation, I remember us thinking, Oh my goodness, this game is actually super fun, I could probably play this forever and not get bored. And now here I am saying, Oh, the game's starting to bore me. <laughs> What is wrong with me? Why can't I be en enjoy anything for like five months or whatever? Ugh, <laughs> uh, that's so annoying. Yeah. My stupid ADHD or autism, I don't know. I don't know which one I have, if I even have them, I don't know. <sighs> I'm getting bored. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting burned down in general of online, but like. I can't really do anything offline, there's no one to go visit, and whatever, I don't know. Maybe there is, who knows. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Oh well. I'll continue doing as much as I can. Well, at least this, these deliveries are going well. Speaking.
Hmm. Come over to the distillery. Up, 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 oops, 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 oops. <sighs> Pull forward, as they say. Pull forward. Yeah, put on the brakes, take off the brakes, put on the brakes, and let's start unloading. Not much of a demand bonus anymore, but hey, it's Gorewood. We need the stuff for the, yeah. How much run are we looking at? 15. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll load up what we got. We'll make a full car, but hey, it's money. I'll take whatever I can. Alright, brakes were on. Anyway, once we sell this uh, rum, it'll be time to start working on the line. Should be exciting. We're on the reverser, we're coming to a slow stop. Yeah, we have stopped. All right, let's unload. Let's unload that. Then I think I'll actually head to the farm and pick up some cows, and then bring some cordwood so I can just sell said cows at the um, slaughterhouse so I can just make some cash before we do the big project. Let's hit the brakes. Oh, I start selling this stuff. Also, a bit of a side note, but uh, if you guys want, I I don't know if anyone will notice this, but uh, I play Shark Bite. So if you guys want me to want to see me do a Shark Bite video, I'd have I'd I'd, I'd be happily be interested in doing that. All depends for if you guys are interested. I just brought it up because you know. I thought, oh, I wonder if anyone will notice the shark bite uh, 2 UGC item I got for limited thing or whatever, I don't know. They have some limited event going on right now, so if you guys want to see me play a bit of that, then, you know, tell me in the comments, or, I don't know, tell me in Discord or whatever. I don't know, I don't really know how I how, how you guys can reach out to me, besides maybe, like, a, a Spy House Studio Discord server, but, well, that's about the only thing I can think of. Alright, let's go sell some cattle. Heavy, but we're heading out. Unless, of course, wait, are there brakes on? Did I put the brakes on by accident? Let's see. No, brakes are not on. It's weird. Guess the engine just is having a hard time. This is a really well... 
Not really well. Eh, yeah. I wonder if we'll actually get bakeries in the game. We'll be able to do stuff like make bread and whatever, like baked goods with the grain, because I think that could be a pretty cool introduction or addition that they could do. I could see it being good for like the uh, inevitable town update that they want to do. Let's see, cattle, 12 cattle. Let's load up 12 cattle, lose a bunch of cash, and head back. Open the throttle, and let's head out. Blow the whistle. And we are good. We also noticed we're starting to run low on coal, so we might have to reload. Well, actually, no, we're not running low, but I just noticed that we're starting to run up. Starting to be drained up a bit, probably because I keep, you know, doing those stuff. Coming up to the same place. I'll probably then pull forward and pull forward and then we'll be able to start working on the um smelter connection. With this uh mix of the um at least with the uh grain uh, with the uh ballast wagons we could be able to pick up both the iron ore and the uh core wood that we can use to power the smelters, which will be most useful. We're coming up to the line, we'll slow down the forest, and then we'll just be able to, you know... I don't know, really. We'll probably pick up the cordwood. Let's pick up some cordwood. I'm also unsure why it's called cordwood. I assume that it's a specific type of wood that exists, and it's used specifically for uh, burning? Like, it definitely does look like it's just a bunch of small logs. But I'm not sure, there's probably some reason. Eh, I don't know. Phew. Open the throttle because we need to get up. I don't know if I'll ever will redo this section of the track because I just don't see a reason. Come on, shovel more coal and nearly out of nearly out of steam. I think we're finally opening it up, which is good.
Come on, we're nearly we nearly over the hill. Then we can head back to we head down from the hill. All right, put down the throttle. Oop, to close the reverser a bit. Open the throttle a bit, and then just close the throttle because now we're just going to coast down the hill. Because we get early coast down the hills. Mm, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I feel like we. Sh but I think we should get more. Look at it. Yeah, there's a little stretch. There's a little place there I can see that we can easily build a connection. A connection to. Now we can open the throttle. We can get over the hill. Yes, we can get over the hill. Now we can probably close the throttle because now we have a very. It's a very, a kind of steep hill, honestly. Maybe I'll redo it in the future when I start actually making more money, because right now I really am running on fumes sometimes. Ah, here we go, the slaughterhouse. A good place to make some cash. Hit the brakes. Brakes. We did it in end time, but whatever. Oh, right, I completely forgot to have thy terrible bridge design. Which, according to my friend, gives him nightmares. I'm sorry to say, Alo, if you watch this, you're gonna get more nightmares. That's just the way things happen in the, on my railway. You just get nightmares for no reason whatsoever besides, like, I think it's funny. Alright, we're all unloaded with cordwood. Let's load up with uh, cattle. Or unload of cattle, I guess. Can't really go any further, which is probably why I don't think I'll be doing many cattle runs in the future. Ding, 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 ding. Oh yeah, we're actually looking at a good amount of uh, food and lever and grease. Grease I'll probably use in the future for other projects, but definitely the food we definitely sell off. Well, we get some other stuff. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out how to set up the line, because I should have enough to make the track. Hopefully we'll be able to make some. Well, at least I think I'll be able to get it there in time. Then of course I gotta go up, pick up the iron ore to come down. Then I gotta deliver said iron ore, but we'll, you know, that, that'll be the project for today, I guess. Hopefully, as long as we have enough iron ore up there, I sh we should, I assume. I'll load it up with some beams and lumber, so, yeah. Anyway, I think we'll park the uh, train here for now, and then, not here, but like down at the quarry, delete some trackage, and then, yeah. Start working. The delete mode says that. Oh. Huh. Uh. 
uh, yeah, I think I know what to do here. Okay, so we'll just back out of the switch at least. And stop. Alright, let's go to here. Let's delete that trackage. Let's grab a right switch. Oh, yeah, that'll work perfect. That's exactly what I want. Oh, right switch. Boom. Perfect, we got that. M mode, uh, build mode. Grade on a curve on, but I actually want the curve to be about 700. In the opposite direction, so negative 700. Maybe negative 500. Negative 400. Negative 300. Yeah, that looks good. Then we'll have it become 400 and have it curve back 300. So have it curve through this direction. Hey, that's probably didn't eat up a lot of my cash. Negative 400. What about negative 350? Yeah, that'll work. Then we'll have it curve. Where's the smelters again? Uh, smelters are over there. Perfect. We'll have it a negative 200. There we go. And then we'll have it, um... Yeah, most likely I'll just be able to make it over at like a zero. So then I'll just be able to... Oh. How convenient. In fact, that's, that's almost too convenient. I guess I just become a really good builder? I don't know. But hey, we've connected the smelters and we somehow didn't go bankrupt doing it. And we made it also really nice. Oop. Of course, I didn't finish to didn't bother to finish this, but we're gonna finish that now. Yippee, we've done it. I somehow connected the smelters and then go back. I don't know how that works anyway. It's time to do some iron deliveries. Yeah. Let's go uncouple you. Yeah, let's load up on some coal just in case. Just so we can at least get some coal there so we can at least start producing iron. First, of course, we should head up to the mines to see what iron we got. That's a good idea to start with, I guess. Phew. Well, that actually went well. Better than I expected. I genuinely did not expect that. But yeah. Anyway, let's get there as fast as possible. Hopefully we'll make it up the uh, hill fine. I think we will, but you know. It should be good, I guess. I'm gonna go up the um, weird crazy eight. I guess I guess maybe the crazy eight. I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll call. I forgot what I call call the last time, but I think I'll christen this the crazy eights loop. Both in honor of the uh, crazy eights incident. Actually, no, I don't think. I mean, it was a pretty interesting incident, the railroad incident, and also because it's literally just crazy. So yeah, the crazy. Eight, this is the crazy eight loop. A very strange name, I know, but I'm a very strange- I can be a very strange person sometimes. Not really, though. Well, maybe, I don't know. Ooh.
At least we're getting up. We're making good time to get up. Oof. Slaughterhouse is certainly looking very... They're not too far up. Oof. And here we come up to it. Just stop. Uh, nah, I don't really want to redo this. I think it's fine, honestly. I'll just open the front a little bit to get up this specific little hump. But that's about it. Although I do think that I do need to redo this yard in the future because this really weird curve is certainly very strange. I'll say that at least. Put on the brakes, put on the brakes, put on the brakes. Great. Put the reverse on. Let's see how much iron we got. Five iron, that's actually pretty good. We have enough to uh, do one car load or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's try to not wreck the old 97 down that. Chances of that happening are very limited. And by limited, I meant it's very hard to tell if it'll happen or not, depending on the speed of the locomotive. And time to see what happens. Forgot if I wrecked here before. I think I did last time. Well, we slowed down surprisingly. That's good to know. Guess I'll just keep the throttle open for now. Oh, the brakes were on. That makes sense. Now I'll gain some speed. Now we're actually gaining some speed. Come on, we're getting down. I guess we didn't wreck, surprisingly. I thought we would. I guess I spoke too soon? Yeah, maybe I did. I don't know. Alright, now that we've made it down, well, we can hit the throttle open. Pass by the slaughterhouse, see what it's produced. Uh, ooh, 78 food. That's actually quite a lot. It's enough to load up onto, like, well, I don't know, like, three crate containers I'm not sure I, I, maybe I think maybe I might pick up some white vans because the truck to the smelters didn't take as much money as I thought it would so I saved I saved on a bunch of cash actually it's pretty good for me let's blow that whistle whistle has been blown Heading up. We ran out of steam, but I think we'll make it over. Now we just gotta make sure to brake and hit the curve and get to the front before it you know, crashes. Whip based to uh, put the full reverser open. Look up brakes, brakes, brakes. Hit the switch. Throttle up and let's go down the brand new line. It's exciting.
Time to go down the new line. It's all nice and flat at the same time, so that makes driving extremely good. Well, at least not good, but like, at least it's nice and flat compared to how it could be. But it's nice. And here we come up to the smelters. Nice long flat run. Best to start slowing down. I definitely think that we could def I definitely think a town would work well in this section. And here we are. All right, let's unload some iron. Mm, two fifty per load. That's looking pretty good. Coal, eh, not as good, but still decent. And what so far we've gotten? Uh, not much, in fact, nothing. <laughs> All right, let's put us into reverse and let's head back. I'll pick up whatever there is next time I head with um. I'll probably come by with the flap bed and uh, other things to do some other loads, but for now we have to head back and pick up the um, cattle car. So yeah. Fortunately, which fortunately it's actually looking pretty good for us. We're nearly at 10k, actually. I don't know, if we could actually make 10k again, that would be genuinely impressive. Might be able to even afford a brand new locomotive. Which locomotive I would pick up? Nah, I don't know. Probably not another one of these. Maybe the... I think the E-Class? Was it the E-Class? Let me see. It was the... E-Class, yes. I kind of want to pick up an E-Class because I think that could look really nice. And I think it would also be useful since I wouldn't have to buy a tender at the same time. Because, you know, tenders can be very, very annoying. Just, well, annoying in the sense that they cost a lot of cash, and I don't have that cash on hand. Well, I'm gonna probably hit that pretty hard. Hit the brakes on it. Nope, it worked. Alright, let's continue up the line. Looks like I wanted to push this up, but I'm thinking I probably will. You can make it up. You literally have no load except for like three empty, four empty wagons. It shouldn't be too hard for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're nearly up there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There's nothing stopping you. Just continue. We have you have enough coal. And you did it. Surprisingly enough, it did it up for once. We made it up. We're coming up to the slope. Let's go down the fast grade.
Let's see. All right, open the reverser and let's speed back. And we are nearly there. This is actually going really well. And here is the freight depot. Drop off what we don't need and pick up what we need and we will be good. Let's get going. Free railroad on. Put this in the one siding. Whoops, that was not good. It looks like nothing's connecting, in fact. You better stop it before it hits going onto the main line. Ooh, that was close. Let's get everything to back up, and, yep, nope, looks like, actually, I think I'll reload on some coal while I wait. Yeah, because we definitely need a lot of coal. Pick up some logs, and yeah. Re-rail mode on. Bring it over. Re-rail it. This video is probably going to be longer than most of mine's, but like, I don't know, I don't know if there's really anything I can do about that. We have a large product, we have a large order we have to fulfill today, and I want to fulfill it. Because it means more cash for me. Anyway. Coal seems to be nearly reloaded. Coal has been reloaded. Let's head out. First things first. Stop by the farm. Not farm. The um. Stop by the. How did I forget the name already? The forest. We'll stop by the forest. Pick up some logs and cordwood. Pass by the forest. Head on. Head over to the um. Head over to. I forgot the name. Uh, right. Head over. To the iron, did he either the I think they either the iron mines or quarry. I think the iron mines because just because I know that the iron mines gonna be really useful when it comes to making stuff. Oop, did I close the throttle? Uh, yeah, I closed the throttle. Okay, good, we didn't connect. Let's take our mammoth nine car train out of here. Shovel it. Open the throttle just so it can get a bit more traction. Close the throttle so it can get more speed. Shovel up some coal and we'll do this mem train.
Once we get there, we'll pick up everything we need, head to the lumber mill, pick up everything else we need, and then just do a giant delivery. As for if we'll make it up the hill, I don't think we'll make it up in time. You know, like, with just the engine power, I think we'll have to use another engine, at least. Maybe? I don't know. Not, actually, we can't even use another engine. Unless, of course, I ask my friends to join and give me all the give me the cash, but I feel like it's a bit cheaty, honestly. But if I'm desperate enough, and if you guys seem like it's okay of that, I may just do that just for convenience sake. But that's like a last resort thing. Of course, this is not a last resort situation yet, at least. Or, but it will, if it will become, we'll have to find out. Alright, logs. We loaded up just in time. Now we have a long train to head up. Open it up. You know what? Actually, hold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put us into reverse. I, this may be a stupid thing I'm about to do now, but let me look. Delete mode. M. You got that really tight curve. Uh, let's see. So we got that initial. I don't think that initial climb is much of an issue. That seems to be the, um, delete mode on, yep, that's that and everything. Can I just demolish it from here? Yep, I can. Demolish that from here as well, and demolish that from here, demolish that. It's time that I redo this entire thing, I'm kind of sick of this. Build mode on. Using the cheapest stuff I can, I'm going to redo this entire thing myself. We wasted almost all the cash, but I think it was worth it. At least I'm hoping it was worth it. Uh, yeah, I think it looks worth it. Alright, with the stuff we've loaded up and with the cash wasted now, let's get going. Huh. Yeah, this seems actually like a, this is actually a pretty good solution. I think it was worth the five thousand bucks I drained onto it. It's much a, it's a much more smoother line, as they say. At least I hope it is. I think it is actually. Yeah, I think it's a much smoother line now, thankfully. And we've made it over. And surprisingly, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. That's good, anyway. We're going to head to the... Yeah, first we're, yeah, we're going to head to the, um... Yeah, we're just gonna... Ugh, I keep forgetting it. We're gonna head to 
to the lumber mill, unload the logs, load up on beams and um, other stuff, then probably head up to the iron mines. After, of course, I probably drop these off at the, um, yeah, I probably have some plans. Take the bricks off, open the throttle, probably hit the switch at the end and then we'll head back. Alright, hit the switch, hit the brakes on, put the brake. Well, that's that train done with. Okay, let's hit the switch, okay, let's switch and we'll re-rail it later. This is annoying. Rerail mode on, rerail it, rerail mode on, rerail it, reverse it, open it up. Switch it. Okay, open the throttle, throttle's been open, and let's back this up into the lumber mill. Which definitely does need a new yard in the future, I'm gonna just, I'll say that. Come on. Hit the brakes. There we go. Unload it, and it's going very well. We have quite a lot of stuff. Except maybe lumber, but whatever. I don't know what I can do about that. Yeah, there should be enough space. Uh, yeah. Brakes are on, let's go. Alright, let's start loading up on lumber. Lumber's been fully loaded. Uh, I think I'll flip the switch on this one. Well, at least open the switch. And then let's head to deliver this, actually. Yeah, we're gonna deliver this to the... Um, yeah, we're gonna deliver this to the, uh... Oh my god, like... The... The, the mill. The smelters. No, that's it, the smelters. I keep forgetting the name. Must be losing it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired, I don't know. Oof. Overall, I'd say this this like this is actually going better than I expected. That's surprising because I thought I wouldn't be doing so well. Never mind, we're not doing so well anymore. The train decided to stall.
slowly but surely we'll make it to here. Open the throttle and continue on our way. It's a slow run, but it uh, does a job. Oof. Finally to the smelters. That took a while. Put on the brakes. Take off the brakes. Put on the brakes. Take off the brakes. Put them on, and there we go. Unload all we got. Because at least this will be a good fuel source. Let's see how much we got so far. We got two iron ingots and one rail. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. We definitely do need some more iron vows, so I'm gonna try to do some more deliveries to there today. Then I'll definitely be drop bringing. At least grabbing the two iron ingots and bringing them over to the um, distillery, which takes iron ingots, surprisingly. I don't know why. I don't understand the logic behind that. There probably is some logic. I don't know. I might need to look into it. But yeah, I'll probably take that and then I'll be able to make some lots of cash, actually, since I, f I forgot how much cash, but it definitely can make a lot of cash. make a lot of cash. Now, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll bring these, yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring these up with the, um, the other stuff. Hopefully it should be enough. I'm not sure if it'll be enough, but, yeah. Well, it might be too much, honestly. I don't think there'll be enough, like, a lot wood or whatever, but, eh, we'll have to see what happens. Open the throttle, throttle open, open the rusher throttle and all that stuff.
Whoop. We're coming into the tracks. Coming into the switch. I'm hoping with the cash that we can make from these new smelter runs, we could, I will finally be able to afford a brand new um locomotive. That'd definitely be useful. Let's see, put the brakes on because we're about to couple up. Have we coupled up properly? We have coupled up properly. Let's go. Now let's head out. Head back up to the mines. If there isn't, if it doesn't produce any iron very quickly, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd just stay there for a bit. I can't think of anything I could do. some colon and hope that we can make it up Come on, this is why are you so slow? Why is it have to be so slow? All right, so I'm just going to open the throttle, just shovel some coal for a bit. Hopefully that's enough. I'm not sure. I actually have to go do something real quick. And while I would rather, um, well, not rather, but I guess if I shovel enough coal, yeah, I guess I could probably do it in a pretty quick time. If I don't stall on the hill, which I think I will actually stall on the hill, so, uh... Yeah, I think I'll cut ahead to the. I think I'll cut ahead in the video for when I inevitably actually do get there, if I ever do, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, so uh, see you soon.
And welcome back. Surprisingly, uh, it made up made it up the hill. Huh. I guess it did have enough power. Huh. Interesting. Oh, oh, I guess that's good. I thought it got stuck up the middle of the hill and I have to then get it up, but no, it made it up the iron mines. <sighs> Shove a little bit more coal in there just to make sure we can make it up this one section of the hill. That'd be, it'd be funny if the engine just stalls here. Please don't stall here, engine. I, I beg of you, please do not. Please don't. Okay, thank goodness you didn't stall. Phew. Well, we made it up in time. So, yeah, that's uh, surprisingly enough. Anyway, we'll unload the um, wood here, pick up any iron ore that we're, I get from this get from there. Then we'll head down to the smelters with the cars as well, pick up anything we have. I don't know, there might be some stuff. I'm not sure what I can pick up besides like iron or like a rail. Like probably could pick up a rail. Like that's something I could probably pick up. Let's unload you. We'll unload all of that. Let's see how we're looking. Lots of lumber. So lumber is definitely something that's good. At least we we're good on lumber. It's beans that we're desperate on. Let's see. Yep, looks like it came up. I can just push it a bit. All right. Unload. This must not be close enough. Not going to load? Nope, we still can't. Two iron ore. Hey, that's pretty good. Probably gonna need more, and rail should definitely help to increase production. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Reverse this up. I think in the future I might just purely do beam runs since lumber is not really a big um yeah not really a big um priority right now. There we go, let's see how much have we got since then. Four iron ore. There, yeah, sure, why not? We'll load up what we got. You know what? I wanna do this. This looks like it'll be fun. I'm I'm just I'm not I'm not gonna bother to push these down via train. I'm just going to kind of free roll them? I don't know. I guess I could walk up and see what we have. I, 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 stupid I, I know it's a stupid idea, but I'm feeling kinda stupid right now. So let's free roll. Let's free roll is fun. Time the free roll. This is definitely going to this is definitely going to crash. I already know that. That's something I know that cannot be avoided, but I know it's gonna crash either way. But hey, it might be cool. At least it'll be funny to watch it crash. Or maybe it won't crash. Oh no, it's definitely gonna crash at this. At least I figured it'll crash at that. This thing's gonna pick up. This thing is picking up a lot of speed. 
The wheels aren't moving, that's a bad sign. Why, why didn't the wheels move? Oh, hey, we made it down. Surprisingly enough, we made it. Uh, here, I'm gonna try to stop it now. Well, that's only one way of stopping it. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? While we're down here, I think I'll just disconnect. You know, while we're down here. I'll probably load up on the uh, food. Just so we can get some food loaded up while we're here. It'll be fast. Quick and easy, as they say. Because we'll definitely have a cash a cash um, product to at least sell. So when we come down, if there's not much iron, we can at least sell food off. Let's grab these uh, last cars and push them over anyway, just so we can... Yeah. I'm glad that these things roll so easily. There we go. Are we good? We are nearly good. Let me just push this guy in. There's definitely a lot of food. Eh, you know, why not? We'll just spam load it up. I don't think we'll run out of cash. Yep, we have fully loaded with food. We should definitely make a good amount of cash when we get back. And selling the iron and loading up on steel, we'll, or at least iron, we'll definitely get some good stuff. Time to run back to the train. Let's see how much iron we got. Nine. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. If we can just get one more iron, then we can have a full load of iron, which will be really nice. We uh, got iron. Nope, no more, no, no more iron. Gotta wait. <sighs> hey, we're fully loaded with iron. We've fully loaded with one iron spear. Let's go. We should definitely make a bunch of. We'll definitely make a ton of cash now. Mix up the food deliveries and the uh, iron ingots we're going to get from this. We're definitely going to be rolling in. Let me not rolling, but we'll definitely make a good amount of cash to, uh, yeah. I'd be surprised if we made enough to get to 10k. I think that's impossible at this point, but hey, who knows. Let's do a roll down because that's fun. Make sure the brakes are off. Oh, wait, wait a minute, I think this is... Is that based off immersive now? One second. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Well, I mean, not interesting, but... Yeah, that's cool.
Also, a bit of an update on live streaming. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it with this computer. I've been trying to play around with OBS to figure out the best settings for what I could set up to at least screen recorded live stream. And at least when it comes to screen recording, the quality is so terrible, it's not even worth it. Which is surprising because this computer should be able to record it pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, I think I can run Roblox like 10 graphics. Minimal slow. I mean, some slowdown, but it's not that bad. It's like my Mac. Come on. Yeah. Speed, fine. You want speed? Finally coming down, which is good. Come on, slow down, and we'll pick it up. At least pick up that. I was thinking maybe actually, uh, that could actually be an interesting idea. I may just pick up some beams before we go to the, um, my, before we go to the smelters, just to deliver said beams to the, um, so I can deliver the beams to the, uh, uh what's it called again? No. Actually, yeah, I think I'll pick up some beams, deliver them to the, um, to the, not the coal mines, not the arm. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, I keep forgetting. It. It's the, the quarry, right? The quarry. Love him to the quarry. So while that's slowly but surely trolling along, I'm gonna hop off the engine, hope it doesn't derail, good it didn't. Oh, right, I forgot, I think, I, I, I don't know why this is a thing, but I think when you're not on a locomotive, it speeds up. I don't know how heavy the player character is, but it seems to, I don't know, it's, it's, it's odd, it's like the player character, like the player model, it's somehow makes the locomotive, makes the entire thing heavier, plus the engine can't run as well. I don't know why that's a feature. I think it may have to do with the Roblox physics, and you can't really meddle with the physics that much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Alright, let's see. We're coming them. We're coming up to it. Got to hit the switch. Oh my goodness, what an idiot I was. I thought I hit the switch. Great, now the engine won't even move. See, it just doesn't even know if pressure does it. Well, now it's moving. Yeah, I. It, this may or may not happen, but next episode may 
expect that there might be an E class in the yard next episode, but I don't I don't take my word for that. Because I realize now that I probably do need a more powerful engine because this engine really is not cutting it at this point. <laughs> so yeah, uh, expect that maybe in the future. Expect that I get an E-Class and uh, yeah, expect that I get an E-Class next episode. Either from me just grinding this world to death or literally just asking two of my friends to join in, give me their cash and then make them go poof forever. Yeah, I didn't want to do this, but it looks like it may have to. It may it may come to that if I can't if I can't make enough cash in a short amount of time, because it's kind of seeming that that might happen. And I'm also nearly out of coal at the same time. I keep shoveling so much. Let's see, get the brakes. All right. Let's finally load it up with that. I seriously hope there's enough beams. What, what's going on? Strange. All right, we've loaded up with beams. We're at 500 bucks. This is not looking good. Let's do this. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I know you can do it. Oh, well, maybe it's. Maybe you can't do it. Maybe. Maybe you. Find, maybe you've been used up too much. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm just putting too much onto it, honestly. I might be doing that. I don't think it's even possible to. Well, I mean, I don't know. Ew. Well, let's reverse as much as possible. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Let's see. All right, I forgot I have this method. Come on. What did I set on the engine? No, everything seems fine. 
Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Goodness, this, this thing will not go up, will it? Come on. Either it's a time for a new engine, or it's time for me to limit the amount of stuff I bring on long trips. can make it up. Just doing it. Come on. How far have I got to? No, I nearly got over to Ill, actually. Let's go. We nearly up, we nearly up. Let's see, come on, come on, come on, we're nearly up there, we're nearly up, Pfft. this is taking like 10 minutes just to get up a stupid hill, that's what happens when you get a stupidly heavy train. Let's see. We're nearly over? We're nearly over. Come on. Just a bit more. Just a bit further. 
Just a tad bit further. There we go. We successfully made it over. It only took me like five minutes of just pushing to get it out that short of a troll. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh. Well, let's at least unload this. These this, let's at least let's, let's at least unload these beams here. That's cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Are we going to... Uh, why is this engine so stupidly unresponsive? <sighs> yeah, I, I need a new engine. We there, we nearly there, we nearly there, we nearly there, quarry, come on, this is taking forever, I'm getting sick of how slow this engine is. We'll unload at the quarry. And then I might just try to swap out the trains so that way we just bring the um, empty steak wagons and the um, loaded iron just and just leave the food here for now because I think the food's just going to be dead weight. Since it will serve no monetary reason. Come on. There we go. Let's unload the wood there. Unload the wood there. Unload the wood there. Let's see how it's cold. It eh, looks good, decent. Alright, now that we've loaded the wood, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to disconnect the main train from it, pull it forward a bit, and we should be good. If the train would pull forward, it does finally. That took too long. Now we can put the brakes on, jump back, re-rail those cars back there. And besides that, that's about as all I can really do, because this is taking far, far too long. <laughs> I think I could have done a lot more in the time than it took me. This video is nearly two hours long, and that's purely because it just takes so long to do everything. So, yeah. Don't, I'm not, I won't promise, I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna get an engine, or like, get, just get the money for an engine, but it may happen, so just do expect that. No, 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 I'm nearly out of coal anyway. Eh, yeah, once I sell off this iron, I might just try and pick up a, um, maybe if I like a coaling station down here, just so I can refuel. Which hopefully works. I could probably gain some speed actually. Speaking of, that reminds me, I probably could open the throttle a little bit. If we can make it that it, make it up that is, which we should be able to. Come 
come on. Uh, this is, uh... This is gonna be a long, slow episode. Yeah. And this is why I desperately need a new locomotive. <laughs> said this like 50 times. Still takes forever though. I'll say that. Getting a bit sick of how long it takes. Why is it so slow? Is it just really heavy? Yeah. All right, we're coming up to the smelter side so last. Finally made it to the smelters after like 40 years of driving there. See, still have those two ingots, so let's finally unload all the iron we got. See, I'm making some cash, fortunately, out of it, so at least we're getting compensation for like the 5, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes it took for me to get here. But yeah, we definitely have more than enough. Well, first of all, I'll probably just load up mainly with, um,. Iron ingots. Maybe I could be able to load up fully of iron ingots. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna load up of iron ingots. Drop off most of the stuff back at the um, and probably load up with maybe gravel. I'm not sure. All right, let's load up of iron ingots. No rails this time. No rails today, though, because rails are. I don't. I'm not about to go up to the mines again. This video's take. This video's already going on for too long. So yeah. Okay, how are we looking? Iron ingots, good. Not iron ingots yet. Oh boy, this takes a while. 
If I I don't want to get rails, but I may just get rails just so I can sell. All right, let's go see how much iron we have now. One iron ingot. Pathetic. You know what? Fine. I'll pick up the rails. <laughs> I don't want to, but I guess I'll have to. If anything, it'll make me some cash. Maybe not a lot, but I'll get something out of it. <sighs> it's just taking so long. We'll see what we get next. If we get more rails, then yippee. I'll just load up what I'll just next the next thing of rails we get, I'll just load it up. Eh, it's taking a while. Please don't tell me I it should run off cord wood or coal. I mean it's supposed to run off coal or coal wood. Show a little bit of All right, let's go see how much of whatever I got. One rail. I'll take that. Let's get out of here. I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay here anymore. I spent too long here. Open the f open the throttle and let's just get out of here. We'll see what we have left. Uh, nothing. There's definitely a bunch. There's definitely a a good amount of iron ore left. Come on. Oof. It's certainly been I don't this might be one of my longest videos that I've made on the series. Certainly not one of my longest videos in general. Like Wales Admin's videos are far too long for their own good. But certainly one of the longest videos I've definitely made in a while. Ugh, coal's running really low now and that's not good. Of course now I have to try to get up that whole entire thing. Come on. Oops. 
Hey, uh, guys, so, um, strange thing that happened just now, but I was recording, everything was fine, I don't think I touched any keys, and it just stopped recording all of a sudden. I don't know how, I don't know why, I didn't see that I pressed anything, or heard I pressed anything, but it just stopped recording all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, welcome back, uh, this is, that's, this is not good one bit. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hate this when it happens. I hate this when it happens. Jump. <sighs> this, this is the exact same thing that happened Friday when I was doing the Summer Wales video. It just, I mean, in, this, in that case, it didn't just stop recording. It just only recorded the first minute. I, I do not know what is going on with Xbox Game Bar, but it's clearly not, it's clearly starting to not be very, um, Useful as they say There shouldn't be a storage issue. I have plenty of storage as is But I guess I could try to clean out a bit of the videos. Maybe there's too many videos as is it shouldn't be but I Don't know. I need to look into this. It may just be time to Possibly find another better recording program. I'm not gonna be using Bandicam, but I might look into trying to get the trying to get OBS to run more smoothly on the computer I'm not sure but that wasn't good at all. That's a, that was really that was that was kind of bad. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I hopefully this got splined together well enough. But yeah, that was a uh, not very good. So, yeah. That was... well, besides... okay, well, besides that, we could probably... let's continue heading. Well, hopefully the uh, this recording is better because I don't know. Well, I'm definitely gonna look at to see why these issues are occurring because this is unacceptable in my opinion. The, like Xbox Game Bar never has had this issue, unless of course I just pressed the a key by accident to stop recording. That could have easily happened. I might have pressed the keys by accident, but I don't believe I did. I don't know. Probably just swap out the um, key binds again.
I'm gonna put us into reverse. Probably try to sell all the stuff out and then probably head out because that was the original plan. And I realized it just went into the wrong siding. <laughs> uh, this, this entire end of the recording has been slight, a slight disaster. I Why? I don't know. I don't know what's going on at this point. Anyway, let's kill the throttle. Put the brakes on. Disconnect you and disconnect you. Rerail everything. And then let's just try to recoup investments. And uh, at that point, I have no idea. Just probably just try to look into the whole thing and the issues of the program. See what I can do. Probably not an issue I can think of, but maybe. All right, looks like we're done selling all that. Let's chuck it into the siding. Yeah, I think I'll chuck that uh, one flat car as well into the siding as well, just for good measure. At least the one of the rails. The other ones I'm going to have to bring over, but yeah. But yeah, getting to the smelters. That was a pretty good uh, trip today, actually. Admittedly a bit annoying that the game decided to just stop recording, but you know, that's... Kind of what happens in these in today's world. You have to prepare for the uh, unexpected, I guess. I don't know. Unless it, well, I mean, it's still annoying. Like, thank goodness that I could have. I was worried I lost like everything, and I'd have to start from scratch. Cause um, it's a little behind the behind the scenes secret thing I did, but I actually had made a backup of this world before I started recording, just in case everything did collapse and. I did, and I did lose all the footage for this, so I'd at least have a backup, so I could at least redo the video. I was worried that I would not be in the that that would, you know. However, it doesn't seem like it was a big issue. I only lost maybe like five minutes worth of boring content, so that's good. Of course, it'll make editing a nightmare now because now I have to try to figure out how to edit it all with it all splicing together, which is also why I said M. Because that's basically my way of that's basically my way of telling myself in post, hey, this is where this is where the um, this is where the recording thingy, the clicky thing starts, so I can at least sync up the audio with the uh, video. So yeah, that's a fun behind the scenes thing. That's what I do. That's how I record my videos with the audio. So yeah. That's a cool fun fact, I guess. Maybe not cool, but definitely a fun fact I know of. Anyway, let's just do this final livery. Get out of here and then just, you know, do what I can do. Just finish up the day. It's certainly taking too long. Finally unloading all this iron ingots. Make some more money from the distillery, because I know that the distillery is kind of the cash cow of the uh, game right now. Ugh. 
Hit the brakes. And let's see. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of cash. <laughs> maybe I would maybe I don't need to shell out the cash to buy out. Maybe I don't need to shell everything out to get a new engine. Huh. Alright then. Interesting. Yeah, anyway. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think that's the end of the episode. I think this will be the end of the episode. the engine into reverse as we head down and that'll be the end of the episode there we go perfect and yeah this engine definitely needs more. Oh my goodness, this Edla engine is literally out of coal. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get there in time without running out of steam pressure, which fortunately we have a bunch, so that's good. But like, yeah, it'd be pretty terrible. It'd be pretty scary if we actually ran out of steam pressure on the line. All right, throttle, locomotive brakes. Hit the brakes. Let's start refueling on coal. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that for this episode I'm really sorry that the episode got cut kind of in there in the middle I really could not do anything about that I I don't know if I was just not noticing and accidentally pressed one of the buttons to cut the episode or if I was genuine or the episode the software just genuinely just cut itself I I cannot say but uh yeah thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time and um, make sure to continue liking subscribing Please, please, please comment in the reply in the comments below what you want me to see. Like, I genuinely have nothing I really want to say. Not say, but like, I genu genuinely need new content to do. And you guys are the only reason I really could do new content. So please tell me what you want, what you want me to see, what you want to see from me. Because I'll definitely try to do, try definitely try to please you guys. Because you know, if I don't please you guys, I don't get the subs and the views. <laughs> so yeah. Also, thanks for allow. Also, thanks for nearly 900 subscribers. We're very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. We might even hit it this year if you guys, if you guys who haven't subscribed actually decide to subscribe because you know, that'd be really nice. I could really start. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'll see you all later. Have a good day, and uh, well, see you next time.